할렐루야. 
Zacharti la chesed Nehurai Ahavat Kelulotai Zacharti la chesed Nehurai Ahavat
Shana Tova. Welcome to Onechill.org and our Era Rosh Hashanah service for 5775. Such a large group tonight. It's amazing. I love it when we have small intimate groups. I love it when we have really large groups here. So much activity in our congregation chat room already. If you are trying to figure out how to join in the fun, just click on the little menu button next to the chat room and select face login and then Facebook or guest. Facebook will pull your picture from Facebook and your name from Facebook that then you can change or select guest and then that still lets you edit and put a name in. So whichever one you are most comfortable with, but I want to definitely encourage you to try to log in so we don't just see you as guest 699 or 824 or all of the other guests that we have. So I am Ketsira. It is my true honor and pleasure to be back with you again and kicking off High Holy Day services here at Onechill. I'm gonna to continue to post uh, the Machzor in our chat room because I know people are kind of coming in all the time right now. So download away. Uh, our service tonight will probably be a little bit over an hour. Um, if you were here last year, there's going to be some similar elements, some of the same elements. But, well, have to always ask, see what inspires every year, what new pieces want to come into the mix. Uh, and hopefully we won't break the chat room. This is a much more robust one. So with any luck, it can survive high holiday services here at One Shul and the amazing group that we always have. So let us move to page two, two in our Machsor tonight. And if this is your first time here at One Shul, I want to welcome you. If this is your 50th time here at One Shul, I want to welcome you. If this is your first time back since last year, welcome back. Uh, if you've never been to a service with me personally, a few good things to know before we get started. So uh, I am a Kohenet. That is an ordained Hebrew priestess. It is an ancient and very modern thing. Uh, it is recognized on some levels by uh, Jewish renewal, although not officially through Jewish renewal. There are about 35, 36 women now who have been uh, received smicha ordination as a Kohenet. What does that mean? It means, as you might guess, I'm not entirely traditional. Our service tonight will blend Sephardic and Ashkenazic tradition. It will blend uh, modern and ancient tradition. It will blend rabbinic and Kohenet traditions. So uh, whatever form of God language is comfortable for you, I invite you to use. I generally pray in feminine God language because that is, for me, very true and resonant and it is part of my mission and the mission of Kohenet to bring balance back to our experience of the Holy One. Since most people will say, God is neither male nor female, then why don't we pray in feminine God language? So you will hear some of that tonight. Use whatever is true and resonant for you. So, ah, I love it. Lots of faces, old and new. So let's do something that we do here. If you haven't already, Please introduce yourself in the chat room, tell us your name, and tell us where in the world you physically are, because we're a very global community on a regular night, 
And for High Holy Days, we get to be a very global community. So I'll kick that off. And I'm going to begin with the candle blessings. The sun has set. I've lit my candles. They're over there. You can't really see them. But let's do the candle blessings because in Jewish tradition, this is how we mark sacred space more than anything else. How we denote the shift from every day to the sacred. So join in with me, if you will, in the feminine God language or in the traditional masculine, whichever one is more comfortable for you. Brucha Achachina Elo Tenu Ruach Haolam Asher Kitshat Nu B'mitzvot Teha V'tivat Nu Lehalek Nev Shehel Yom Tov Blessed are you, Holy One. Your presence fills creation, making us holy through the sacred connective action of lighting the festival lights. And the Shana Tova to all of you who are now introducing yourselves in the chat room. So far, we have good East Coast, West Coast, and Central Country representation. Uh, I saw a few people, a couple of flags pop up. Uh, Moshe in the UK, it looks like, although I never trust little flags that show up in this because they're wrong half the time. Uh, and all the location information. So, why? Why, why are we here tonight? Why, 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 why? Our invocation on page three leads us to that. Although there's no page number on page three. So our invocation of why, why are we here tonight? So say this with me if you can. Hopefully you've been able to download the Mahsor. Go to page three. Say it with me. And remember that in most of our prayers, we pray collectively. We say we, not I. We pray for ourselves, we pray for the tribe, we pray for the world. So read with me, if you will, on page three, the invocation. Tonight, we remember who we are. Tonight, we rekindle the divine fire within. Tonight, we re-establish our connection to the Holy One. Tonight, we return to where we begin. Uh, the pages are indeed missing on a few of the page numbers. are missing on a few. I managed to get some of the page numbers on there. So look for the page after two that says Invocation. And now we are going to move into Matovu, which is on the next page. <laughs> Matovu, how beautiful, how abundant, how abundant are your tents, Rachel v'Bilha and Leah v'Zilpa, and your shrines, O Yisrael. Shekhinah, one who dwells, we love the indwelling of your house and the place of the shrine of your presence. We bow to the earth and bless my, our creator. Our prayer is to you, merciful one, divine deity in your great love. Answer me, answer us with your unfolding truth. And let us say, Amen. Ah. Maxor for those just joining us. Sorry about that, I need to keep reposting it. So now we move into the prayer for the new year and here is all just getting started, just beginning to get it flowing for the evening, just beginning our entrance into sacred space and sacred time. On Rosh Hashanah it is inscribed, on Yom Kippur it is sealed. How many shall pass away and how many shall be born? Who shall live and who shall die? Who by water and who by fire? Who by sword and who by wild beast? Who by famine, who by thirst? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangulation and who by stoning? Who shall be at peace? And who shall be pursued? Who shall be at rest? 
and who shall be tormented? Who shall be raised up, and who shall be brought low? Who shall become rich, and who shall be impoverished? Contemplation, turning, and acts of loving kindness can transform all. And let us say Amen, Selah, Shemati, whatever word it is that you say after you have heard a prayer and you want to say, yes, I have heard and I acknowledge and potentially I claim this for myself. So Amen is I hear and I claim this for myself. Selah falls into that space as well. And then Shemati uh, means I have heard. That's one of my favorite practices out of uh, Elat Chaim and the world of Kohenet. Uh, whenever people say things and you just want to, one, say that you're done, you say, Dibarti. And the rest of the room, to acknowledge that they have heard you and they have witnessed what you're saying, uh, respond, Shemati, I have heard. So whatever phrase you want to use tonight, throw them in wherever you want. Amen, Selah, Shemati, whatever it is. One, I know you're there then. <sighs> Two, I can tell where the delay on the video is. Very helpful for me. And three, then I know that you're getting into it. Uh, this may be a video with you in a chat room and in your bunny slippers at home, but my version of Judaism is full body experiential Judaism. So I hope tonight you will participate as fully as you can. Don't just sit back and watch, but do your best, even with this, this uh, modality that we have, do your best to really engage especially if you're home by yourself, sing at the top of your lungs. Nobody else knows. And go crazy in the chat room. It is the only time in synagogue you are encouraged to talk in the pews. So this should be really fun. Uh, I didn't do this version of Bar Hu at uh, High Holy Day Services last year, but Rosh Hashanah is uh, the Rosh Chodesh of the year. It's also Rosh Chodesh of our of this month. Uh, so it's the new moon holiday. It's the beginning of a month as well of the year. And this Barhu is what we do to open up our space for our Rosh Chodesh service every month here at Wanshal. So we're going to try it here with all of you and see how it goes. So that's on page six and there's an actual page number. So how this works. I'm going to start singing. You are going to start singing at home with me. And you're going to share the name you wish to be known as in our sacred space tonight in the chat room. It may be your given name, your English name. It may be your Hebrew name. It may be, especially because it's Rosh Hashanah, it may be the word that symbolizes what this year is about for you. Doesn't matter. You're going to share whatever that name, that word is. And as we sing, I'm going to sing you all into our space. And if you haven't heard this before, I want to explain this came from uh, the Rosh Chodesh group I hosted in my home for a while. And we met outside in the little yard that I have and we lined up at this arbor, this gate. And I would enter in and I would turn and face everyone. And I would begin singing this. And then the first person would say their name and I would sing their name into the space. And they would enter, turn and face everyone else with me. And then both of us would sing the next person in. And it built and it built and it built. So I want to invite you all into this practice tonight. So sing yourselves in with us. And I'm going to scroll up a little so I can keep up with the names. So we'll first do uh, just the song, and then I'll start singing people in. Probably a couple at a time, because there's a lot of us tonight. All right. Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. When I call on the light of my soul, I come home. Marhu, dear one, 
Dorashek and Levana, you have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, La Elk and Svihesh. You have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Geshem and Chava. You have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Adam ben Avraham. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home, Marhu, dear ones, Ruchama and Avenhud. You have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Kelly and Zakia. You have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear ones, Maruch and Erica. You have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. Marhu, dear ones, Eridanis and Karen, you have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home, Marhu, dear one, Moshe. And Michal, you have called on the light of your souls. Welcome home. And let's do the last verse together three times. Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. We have called on the light of our souls. Welcome home. Marhu, let's work Oscar in, dear one. Oscar, holy name, you have called on the light of your soul. Welcome home. And now back to our last two verses. Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. We have called on the light of our souls. We've come home. Marhu, dear one, Shekhinah, holy name. We have called on the light of our souls. We've come home. <sighs> Welcome home. Ah, 
Yes, let's just take a moment to breathe that in. Take a moment to breathe it in. Being here together for some of us, for some of us, one shul is a haven because we are physically unable to leave our homes and get to services easier, easier, easily. For some of us, one shul is our sacred space because we don't have a synagogue near us. For some of us, one shul is our sacred space because we don't have a community near us that meets our needs. For some of us, one shul is a haven because we are considering conversion or converting and aren't quite ready to step foot into a synagogue regularly. I know many of you have been in that situation. For some of us, one shul is a haven because we live in all parts of the world and we're just not around enough Jews to find a community. Whatever it is, wherever you're here, we welcome you, I welcome you to one shul and to our sacred space and place and time tonight. <laughs> and I love, you know, I love having Diane DeRachette here with us. She is like Julie the Cruise director of One Show when she's here. You cannot help but engage when she's here because she is just going to talk to you and she just loves everybody. And so Diane, I'm thrilled you're back with us again tonight. It's a pleasure to watch you just talking to everybody and making friends and connecting with everybody in our chat room. So let us move on to page seven in our Mach Zor. And uh, there's no page number on that one. I missed it. But it is the prayer for the new year. We pray that this year be, a, be for us all, all humanity, a year of life and health, a year of sustenance and cheer, a year of faith and wisdom. We pray that this Shemitah year will be one where we find release from hunger, poverty, slavery, hatred, and war. May our commitments to rest and release bring tikkun ha-nefesh, tikkun ha-lev, and tikkun olam, repair of the spirit, repair of the heart, and repair of the world. May it be a year of peace and healing for all Israel and all the world. And let us say, Amen. So, before we move into our Ma'ariv, let's talk about Shemitah for just a moment, because not everyone may know what that is. I have to admit, I never heard about it until I was in my 30s. Uh, I did not grow up hearing about this. No one talked about it. And suddenly, and it's because I'm in the renewal Judaism world, boy, do we talk about it. My email lists have been going crazy the last few months around Shemitah. Absolutely amazing, the dialogue going on. So what is it? It's the sabbatical year. Every seven years, this year, the Shemitah, the sabbatical year, occurs in Jewish tradition. And every seventh seventh is the Jubilee, the great release. But we are in a Shemitah, a regular Shemitah year this year. And in the Torah, what we are told is on this seventh year, we let the land rest, we don't cultivate, and we don't really harvest from it. We free slaves. Don't forget, in ancient Israel, slavery was technically still okay. <laughs> but there's lots of kinds of slavery. Uh, we also release people from their debts, and we return land to its original owners. It's a year of cosmic reset. And imagine if our societies were actually still able to do this. Imagine if we were able to have a year where we let the land lie fallow if we actually were able to save up enough food, all of the work that would have to go into that, 
all of the actual cooperation that would have to occur. And then how do we support farmers through this year? How do we ensure that they have a livelihood? So there have been incredible conversations about it. Uh, one of the most amazing I, I've seen, there's a Shemitah Seder that you can download. No, I didn't write it. I know I've written a bunch, but this isn't me. Uh, Nina Beth Carden, Rabbi Nina Beth Carden, who has written amazing liturgies, has written and she's posted it. If you Google her and Google Shemitah Seder, you'll find it. Um, amazing Seder that you can do. And especially during these days of awe, during the, nine, the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And I think on Sukkot, it's an amazing thing to do too, because it's our harvest holiday. And I do, I think the world's a total cosmic pinball machine. There are forces at work and in play. And sometimes you have to let it rest. So you're going to see little bits woven through our service tonight that reference the Shemitah. And I want to invite you, especially in the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, these days of awe where the gates are open, the veil between the worlds is thin, and we can change the world just through our actions. What does release mean to you? What will you release? And what will you be released from? And Lashana Tova, if you are just joining us. I'm going to post the, uh, the Machsor link again for those just joining us. So there you go. That's Shemitah in a really quick nutshell. But if you're curious, there's so many amazing resources online. Um, Chazon.org has done incredible work on this. Uh, lots and lots and lots of people are doing incredible work around this idea, both literal of letting the land rest um, and figurative in other ways of rest and release. And one more thing on Shemitah, and then we'll move through our service. Um, uh, in February of this, this year that we're in now, um, I was up at Isabella Friedman Retreat Center uh, with the Kohanot and was amazed when I walked in and I saw a countdown clock to Shemitah. That was the level of commitment they have up there and they have the Adama, they have the farm up there as well. So there was this countdown clock and they've been posting photos the last few days of the last hours to count down in last minutes and seconds until this year of release begins. Dibarti. And moving on to page eight. <laughs> Mariv or Ma'ariva. See 
Jesus, mighty God of Him, you who give life reason, mighty God of Him, 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 you roll the dark and spill the light, mighty God of Shine the day and soft the night, Mariva, Mariva, Aravim, Mariva, Aravim. Mishana Tova, if you are just joining us, you can download our Machsor for tonight with the link I just posted. Feel free to introduce yourself in our congregation, in our chat room. Let us know who you are, where in the world you physically are. And please feel free to just share whatever the service brings up for you, what you're thinking. And of course, the amens, the selahs, the shamatis, whatever it is that helps you to connect with our service and share that connection with others tonight. <laughs> and I love and appreciate that you love that there is a woman who is singing here, uh, especially because in uh, Orthodox Judaism, that's not really a done thing. It's kind of a no-no. So I appreciate that you appreciate in our community that all voices are welcome. So we move to page nine with Ahavat Olam, the world love. A world love you have woven for your people, Israel, through the sacred threads of Torah and mitzvot. When we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your patterns, and we will play with the warp and weft of your Torah and mitzvot forever. For they clothe our lives and our days, and we will wrap ourselves in them as days and our nights go by. Do not take away your love from us. Blessed are you, Ya Shekhinah Oreget, whose love is woven into your people, Israel. And let us say once again, Amen. So we have come to our Shema. And we will say together the invocation for the many faces of holiness. And I will invite you, as I often do, to share the name of the Holy One you will be invoking with our Shema tonight. So maybe it's Adonai, because you've always said Adonai. You love saying Adonai, and it's never occurred to you to say anything else. And that is just fine. But maybe there are one of the myriad of other names that's calling to you tonight that you want to say in our Shema. And I'm glad that you all like the drums and the singing because I'm going to turn our Shema over to Holy Thea uh, for her version of the Shema because I think we should revel in the Shema a little bit tonight. So if you have a name you wish to share of the Holy One, please do so in our chat room. And now I'm going to turn the vocals over to Holy Thea. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Adonai Listen, O oh you who wrestle with God, the infinite. She is one. Shema Yisrael. Shema Adonai. I don't 
Sorry about the feedback there. Move into the Via Hafta. And we're going to do it in English. Uh, a lot of our service is in English. I want it to be as accessible as possible to people. And I love the Hebrew. I love chanting the Hebrew. But uh, the English is more accessible. It is the mother tongue for most people here. So it lets us pray in the language that not only resonates with us sound-wise, but also the words have great meaning. And at uh, the last Shabbat service I led, somebody said, I was uh, doing the Ve'ah Hafta, and somebody said, you, need, you should change it. You should say, you know, we, be more, be more inclusive. And I was completely lost. I could not figure out what this person was saying to me, what they were referring to. And then I finally realized what they were talking about. Because traditionally, we pray the Ve'ah Hafta, it's generally a command. It's the voice of the Holy One commanding us. And you shall love. Ve'ah Hafta. And when I do it in Hebrew, I do it in feminine God language and feminine uh, congregations. Uh, con congregations. Conjugation. And yet it never occurred to me to say we. So I started looking at it and thinking, what would happen if we said we? And page 11 is what happened, at least to me, when I started looking at it as we. The first section became our pledge to the Holy One. And the second one is the Holy One's promise to us if we do what we have pledged. And it reminded me of at Sinai, at Shvuot, where we say, we will do and we will hear. We pledge to do it before we even, slightly bad choices here, we decide to say yes before we know what we're promising. Never do that. But in this case, good. Uh, so a little bit of a different way to think about the second half of the Shema, the Via Hafta tonight. So the first, let's try it together with that we language. And the second, Speak as the voice of the Holy One to yourself, to everyone around you, and to everyone in the world tonight. And there are many, several paragraphs of the Vehafta. I chose this one in particular because of its connection to the Shemitah year. But uh, this is in, in case you've never read the whole thing in English and didn't know what you were saying. I didn't growing up. It took a long time for me to know what it was saying. I just knew the Hebrew. Uh, this one, this is in there every time. This is a, a slight adaptation of that translation, but not that far off. So let's say it together. 
And we shall love becoming the Holy One with all our hearts, all our spirits, and all our gifts. These words which we speak on this day, we shall sharpen on our hearts. We shall teach them to our children and speak of them when we sit in our homes and when we walk on the path and when we lie down and when we rise up. We will tie them as a sign upon our hands and let them be ornaments between our eyes. We will write them on the doorposts of our homes and on our gates. And if you listen to my desires, which I engage you today, and love indwelling your God and serve with all your heart, mind, and spirit, I will give rain to the earth in its time, autumn and spring, and you will gather in corn and wine and oil. I will give grass to the land so cattle may feed, and you, all you species of earth, will eat and be satisfied. Be careful that you do not become foolish-hearted and turn to serve gods that are separate from the web of life and bow down to them. For then the weaver will be angry with you and will close the heavens so there is no rain and the earth will not give her produce and you will be quickly lost from this good earth that I am giving you. Therefore, put these words inside your heart and your spirit. Tie them as a sign upon your hand and let them shine as ornaments between your eyes. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. And our days and our children's days will be long on the earth that the weaver has promised to our ancestors like the days of the sky over the earth. And let us say, Amen. So, we come to Shemona Esrei, Amida, Amida, wherever you put this, the emphasis. And I really struggled with what to do for this tonight. So we're going to do a little bit of a meditation. Each of these are the steps of Shimona Esrei. But I want you to do with it what you will. And I have my singing bowl here, and I'm going to chime each one and play a tone, and I'll call out each one, and we'll step through each of them. You can say, speak, be in silence for it, you can nigun, you can share in the chat room whatever this brings up for you. You can grab a prayer book and chant the traditional, whatever moves you. It is tradition to stand for Shemona Esrei, Amida, Amida. If you are able, I invite you to do so. If you are not, I invite you to hold yourself firm in your chair with your feet on the ground. I also invite you to fall to the earth and make contact with the earth for this prayer as well. Whatever movement works for you. So we begin. Remembering the ancestors. of life. Holiness. 
Gifts of the Mind. Repentance, change. Forgiveness. Help from the universe. Healing. Abundance of the earth. Return from exile. Justice. Protection from harm. Kindness towards the righteous and the community. Shelter for Jerusalem. Hope for a better future. The hearing of prayer. The return of Shekhinah. Heart full of gratitude. Peace for all the living. Avinu Malkeinu Avinu Malkeinu Chanenu Vanenu Ki ein banu maasim Ase imanu Tzedaka vechesed Ase imanu sedaka vechesed vehoshiyehu. Avinu malkeinu. 
Avinu Malkeinu Avinu Malkeinu Chaneinu Aneinu Ki ein banu masi Haseimanu Sedaka vachasad Haseimanu sedaka vachasad Vehoshienu Avinu malkeinu Chaneinu aneinu Avinu malkeinu chaneinu vaneinu Ki ein banu masim Hase imanu Sedaka vachasad Hase imanu sedaka vachasad Vehoshienu Avinu Malkeinu, Avinu Malkeinu. Have to work a little of the traditional in. So we go through our Avinu Malkeinu. We're going to go through this English version and then we'll end it again with the Ashkenazic traditional uh, Hebrew chorus. So, source of life, teach us how to make this year a new beginning. Heart of the universe, show us how to grow when harshness enters our life. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to accept what we must accept. Fire of our souls, guide us to change what must be changed. And we say together, Source of Life, hear our prayer. Source of Life, teach us how to face disease and death. Heart of the universe, show us how to enjoy the gift of life. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to nurture those who are ill. Fire of our souls, guide us on the path towards peace with our enemies. Source of life, hear our prayer. Source of life, teach us how to make the world a better place for all creation. Heart of the universe, show us how to make amends for our wrongdoings. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to learn from the past. Fire of our souls, guide us down the path of freedom and peace for all. Source of life, hear our prayers. Source of life, teach us how to be good neighbors. Heart of the universe, show us how to be good friends. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to be good lovers. Fire of our souls, guide our actions to be good partners. Source of life, hear our prayer. Source of life, teach us how to be good children. Heart of the universe, teach us, show us how to be good parents. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to be good people. Fire of our souls, guide our hearts to treat all people as your people. Source of life, hear our prayer. Source of life, teach us how to release those who owe us. Heart of the universe, Show us how to bring an end to slavery. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to let the land rest. Fire of our souls, guide us in release and renewal. Source of life, hear our prayer. Source of life, receive our prayers. Heart of the universe, write our names in the book of life. Breathing spirit of the world, help us to be worthy of the lives we are given. Fire of our souls, guide us towards unity with the universe. Source of life, hear our prayer. And now again, let's go through Avinu Malkenu a few times in the Hebrew. 
Avinu Malkeinu, Avinu Malkeinu, Avinu Malkeinu, Chanenu Manenu, Ki ein banu masi, Asei manu, Zedaka v'chesed, Asei imanu zedaka v'chesed, Vehoshienu, Avinu malkeinu, Avinu malkeinu, Avinu malkeinu, Chanenu vanenu, Ki ein banu masim. Ase imanu, Zedaka v'chesed. Ase imanu, Zedaka v'chesed, Vehoshienu. Avinu malkeinu, Avinu malkeinu, Avinu malkeinu, Chanenu vanenu, Ki ein banu masim. Ase imanu, Zedaka v'chesed, Ase imanu zedaka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Avinu malkeinu, imenu malkatnu. Avinu malkeinu, chanenu vanenu. Ki ein banu masim. Ase imanu. Zedaka v'chesed. Ase imanu. Zedaka v'chesed. Vehoshim. Amen. So we move from Avinu Malkinu, the prayer invoking Holy One as parent. And we move now into our prayers for healing. So if there is anyone in your life who is in need of healing, on this night is the gates open. I invite you to share their names in the chat room. And then we will do our Misha Berach prayers tonight as Anna Elna. And all of us lend our collective energy to the healing and well-being of these people. So we'll take just a moment to think about who it is in our lives that is in need of healing.
Rana El Narefana La Ana El Na Ana El Na Ana El Narefana La Please God heal them body and spirit body and spirit may they be whole please god heal them body and spirit body and spirit may they be whole please god heal them body and spirit body and spirit may they be oh ana elna ana elna ana elna refana la ana elna ana elna Ana el na refana la. Please God heal them, body and spirit, body and spirit. May they be whole. Please God heal them, body and spirit. Body and spirit, may they be whole. Ana elna, ana elna, ana elna refana la. Ana elna, ana elna. Ana el narefana la. Please God heal us, body and spirit, body and spirit. May we be whole. Please God heal us, body and spirit, body and spirit. May we. Oh, please God heal us, body and spirit, body and spirit, may we be. Oh, Ana Elna, Ana Elna, Ana Elna Refana. Ah. Holy One, may all those we have named aloud or in our hearts, may all those touched by war and violence, may all those who cannot pray for themselves or have no one to pray for them, may they, may we, may we all be healed. Amen. And in our lives, there are those that are not healed, or their healing is through transitioning their bodies into the next stage of existence, whatever it is that comes after this plane that we live on. So now I will ask you to share in our chat room, in our congregation, if you have lost anyone and would like their name as part of our Mourner's Cottage tonight, please share their name in the chat room. And we'll take a moment to pause to think of all of those whom we have loved and lost. Shirata, eh,
Amen. <laughs> Leila min kol berchata v'shirata, tush berchata v'neemata, da amiran be'alma, v'imaru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim alenu v'yal kol Yisrael, v'yal kol yoshvei tevel, v'imaru, amen. Osa shalom b'mrameha, hi ta'ase shalom, alenu v'yal kol Yisrael, v'yal kol yoshvei tevel, v'imaru, amen. Oh, say shalom bim romah. Who ya say shalom aleinu. Ve alko Yisrael. Ve imru, imru amen. Ya say shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, yal ko Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, yal ko Yisrael. Ya se shalom. Ya shalom aleinu, ya ko Yisrael. Oh, say shalom b'merumav. Hu ya se shalom aleinu, ve al ko Yisrael. Ve imru, imru amen. Needed to work that last one chant in uh, in case my sister happens to be tuning in tonight. So we are on page 21 of your Siddur. So the Hebrew phrase that you see on the right of the page is Pit Chuli Sha'are, and it means open the gates. Open the gates of our hearts. Open the gates of our minds. Open the gates of our spirits so we may find our way to your presence. And we say together three times, Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are. Open the gates of our compassion. Open the gates of our empathy. Open the gates of our ecstasy so we may be worthy to enter the Holy of Holies. Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are. Open the gates of our eyes, open the gates of our hands, open the gates of our will, so we may do your work in the world. Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are, Pit Huli Sha'are. Open the gates of prayer. Open the gates of repentance. Open the gates of teshuva. So we remember, we may remember that we are Yisrael. Pit chuli sha'are. Pit chuli sha'are. Pit chuli sha'are. Ya Adonai Echad, Ushemo Echad, Ushemo Echad, Ushemo Echad, Tehiyah Havaya Echad, 
Vavaya achat, Varucha achat, Varucha achat. And we will see Shekhinah in the winds across the land. We are a circle within her circle. And we will be Shekhinah in the work of our hearts and our hands. She is a circle within our circle. Yehia Adonai achat. Ushamo echad, Ushamo echad, Ushamo echad, Tehia Havaya achat, Verucha achat, Verucha achat, Verucha achat, and we will see Shachina in the wind across the land. We are a circle within her circle, and we will be Shekhinah in the work of our hearts and our hands. She is a circle within our circle. Yehia Havaya Adonai Echat, Ushemo Echat, Ushemo Echat, Ushemo Echat, Tehia Havaya Echat. Verucha achat, verucha achat, verucha achat. <sighs> so we come to almost the end of our service tonight. Good Yom Tov Doc, lovely to see you. And anyone else who's just joining us. So I want to make sure you know everything that's coming up on one show in the next few days for your high holidays. Tomorrow morning, we are back at 8 o'clock for Morning Minion with Patrick. Then we have uh, Day 1 Tashlik with Ariella. And then we have uh, Second Day uh, Rosh Hashanah Services on Friday at 8 p.m. with Ariella. Uh, and then we are back for Kol Nidre on Friday, October 3rd with Patrick again. We have a Yizkor service on Saturday at 1 p.m. We have a Ne'ila service that I will be back with you for at 8 p.m. on Saturday, October 4th. So we have a full complement of High Holy Day services here at One Shul for hopefully covering whatever it is you need during these days of awe. And I will do the official uh, donation plug here because One Shul is an amazing service to the community. Most of us, myself included, are volunteers. We volunteer our time. So that's the first thing I want to put out there to you is you are One Shul if you are here tonight and you can volunteer your time. You can write for Punk Torah. You can lead a class or a workshop here at One Shul. You can lead a service here at One Shul. And if you've never done it before, that's okay. Patrick can help you out. I can help you out. There's lots of us who are happy to see you through it. And Ariella, who is our coordinator overall now, we have great people to help you out. There's Darshan Yeshiva. You can go and take classes at online, pluralistic, Jewish education at your pace, on your time, in your pajamas. Doesn't get much better than that. And it's brought to you by so many of the faces you see here at One Shul. So lots of classes that Patrick's done. Uh, I actually did the whole section on the Jewish holidays and the calendar of the year. Uh, there's so much you can do. You can comment on posts over on Punk Torah. You don't know how much it means to the people who write to have people actually say something back. And yes, you can donate some money, $5. If you can do $5 for every service you come to, no dues, but pay as you go. It helps keep the stream streaming. It helps keep Patrick focused on One Shul and Punk Torah and Darshan Yeshiva. And it helps Ariella and everybody else. So you never know what it's going to do and what we can do more and more for the community. It just takes a little bit of energetic exchange. You've done it by being here tonight. So think next, what else can you do to help keep this amazing, amazing community up and running? So with that, I want to offer uh, the priestess blessing 
as we close our service tonight and wish you all a sweet and wonderful new year. May you all be written in the book of life by the name of your choosing. May I see you all here again for Ne'ilah to close the gates in just a few days. And may you spend these days of awe helping to make tikkun olam happen by your actions in the world. So, ready? <laughs> May she bless you, and may she keep you, and as she shines her face, may you embody grace, and as she brings release, may you give birth to peace. May she bless you, and may she keep you. And as she shines her face, may you embody grace. And as she brings release, may you give birth to peace. May she bless you, and may she keep you. And as she shines her face, may you embody grace. And as she brings release, may you give birth to peace. May our eyes be your eyes, shining and blessing your people everywhere with peace. And let us say, Amen. Shana Tova, have a wonderful days of awe. I hope to see you here again for any of the services, for Ne'ilah, for Shabbat, for Rosh Chodesh, please feel free to drop me a line. Uh, Ketsira.com is how you can find me. And have a wonderful new year. Shalom Aleichem Malachi HaShavet Malachi Aliyam Malachi Hamachim Hakadosh Baruch Peace to you, angels, angels of peace. Peace to you, angels, angels of peace. Come in peace, angels. Bless us with peace, angels. And when you go, angels, go in peace. Bochen la shalom, malachot ha shalom, malachot el yonah, malka. Sad Neurai Ahavat